Hey everybody, I'm Joe Cortez from Front Row Preps, joined by James Burns, Ron Agostini. Time now for our weekly prediction show, playoff version, brought to you by Golden Bear Physical Therapy. And fellas, just about anywhere you can watch high school football in this region, you can find a Golden Bear Physical Therapy facility near you. And we're coming to you this week from Big Valley Christian High School, side of the Division 7 semifinal with Golden Sierra. We'll get back to that in a minute. We're going to start with our predictions in Division 1. Uh, and I think we're all agree here. We think Turlock and Pittman are both in trouble this week. Yep. Turlock at number three, Oak Ridge. Pittman, number seven seed at number two, Monterey Trail. We both like the home teams in this one. We all three like the home teams. We got in Division Two. Uh, Downey, again, uh, another local team that's probably in over its head this week, taking on undefeated Indercombe, the number uh, three seed in Division Two. We all think Indercombe's the winner there. And we also like Central Catholic, number two, in the Division Two bracket to defeat number 10, Elk Grove. That's kind of funny. You, that's even weird to think about. Yeah. Old Central Catholic and Big Old Elk Grove. And to Division Three, Buhat Colony takes on top-seeded Capital Christian. We all like the Cougars there. Uh, number 11, River Valley travels to my alma mater, Merced High, and they've got no shot. Game that's a game that's a, game for the, uh, that's a really a note in Division Three. Number five, Manteca, your alma mater, yes, sir. your rival from your days in high school, uh, traveling to take on number four, Antelope. I like the Buffaloes. The Buffaloes have won seven straight playoff games, two straight section championships. They've got the big four. They're healthy. They're going to go on the road. They're, they're going to get this one done. Yeah. Well, Manteca rolls. Roll you roll. said Manteca. Aren't you supposed to say that green team? He's coming team? around. He's coming uh, right. around. He's green coming around. will win easily. To, uh, <laughs> I agree. It's Manteca green this weekend. Moving on to Division Four. Number eight, Pacheco. Is it number one, Rio Linda? We like Rio Linda there. Uh, number six, Patterson at number three, Casa Robo. What do you think about this one? Patterson has the firepower to keep this one interesting, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm going to side with Cal Preps on this one. Cal Preps gives yeah. uh, Casa Robo the, the slight advantage in this mm -hmm. game. I think Patterson, I've said it all year, they're, they're probably a year away. Okay, Ron, you agree there? Uh, no, I think Patterson will win the game. Oh, I think, Ron! I, I don't think any the contrarian! Team, yeah, all teams have experience at this time of the year. Uh, those young Patterson kids are no longer young in the football sense. I think Patterson's going to uh, upset uh, Casper. There you go. Okay, and the big game of note in Division Four, number five, Oakdale, traveling to take on number four, Wood. I wrote about it today. It's odd that the Corral is locked up for a second round game. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You know, uh, but I think they go on the road and they get this one done. Uh, I like Max Moore and Zeke so far. They're going to they're gonna have a big round tonight. It is unusual for Oakdale not to be home this week. Yeah. Uh, they're going to roll. The, the, the opponent they played last week was not competitive uh, yeah, uh, Valley. I think Wood will be more competitive and Oakdale will win. I agree. I, I like the Mustangs in this one. Moving on to Division 5, number 8, Las Vanas at number 1, Colfax. Colfax is the pick there. Number 7, Mountain House traveling to take on number 2, Ripon. We all agree. The Indians are the choice there. Here's the interesting game here. Number 5, Foothill at number 4, Sonora. Maybe the best number four seed in this entire list. Sonora is rolling right now. Winners of six straight, flying high. They're healthy. Uh, this one could, this, this one could put. They could put up a lot of points on Friday night. But I like the Wildcats, like the Wildcats. especially at home. Yeah. yeah, I like Sonora too. They recovered from their slow start, and, and they're in the playoffs now. And Wildcats. Wildcats, it is. Uh, Division six, number eight, Argonaut. One of our region teams here at number one, Modesto Christian. We all like MC. Number 12, Waterford at number four, Ripon Christian. And now we, our athlete of the week, we talked with him yesterday over at American Chevrolet, Michael Vivo. He had a tremendous game in that incredible yeah. comeback. They were down 44-20 with five and a half minutes to play. Engineered at 31 unanswered yeah. points in the fourth quarter. Won that game 51-44. Does the magic roll on this week? No, it doesn't. <laughs> he's, a, he's, he's a special, special player. He is. Uh, and and he, can, he can create a lot, especially when the play breaks yeah. down. Uh, I think Rick and Christian's defense is one of the best. Has been one of the best around in the section. I think they'll be prepared for him, uh, and I think they'll they'll learn from Rio Vista's mistakes last week. You're, you know, with five minutes left, you know, Rio Vista was trying to swing the ball around, and still they were looking for the knockout punch as opposed to just being smart, chewing and, clock, and chewing clock. Yeah. Uh, they'll learn from that. Uh, you know, I think that Waterford will fare better than they did the first time around. They lost that first game, forty-two to six. Uh, can they make up the deficit? Okay, number 10, Amador at number 2, Helmar. We like the Yellow Jackets in that one. Number 6, Calaveras at number 3, Escalon. They always meet in the preseason. They're going to meet again this time in the postseason. 
Right. Calaveras was one of those mother league teams that got off to a slow start, just like Sonora. They lost three straight. One of them was to, to Esquan, 21-7. If you talk to the folks at Calaveras, though, they think that penalties and self-inflicted you know, wounds, mistakes, really held them back in that game. Uh, John Arbuckle is, is running wild for Calaveras. Is it enough to get it done on the road? I don't think so. I thought, that, I, I thought all along that this was a pretty special Escalon group. I uh, love what Andrew Beam has done in his first year. He's got that program flying high. They're playing with confidence, and they're coming off a bye. I don't think the Calaveras sneaks up on them. Yeah. These teams meet, it seems like, almost every year. Mm -hmm. uh, I kind of like Escalon in this game. I agree. The Cougars are the pick here. And uh, moving on to Division 7. Here at Big Valley Christian, their first ever section semifinal game they're hosting. Uh, number two, Big Valley Christian. Number three, Golden Sierra. Who do you like? So I think the Lions, with the home energy, uh, you know, I expect that this place is, is going to be filled to capacity. There's going to be a lot, of, a lot of spirit, a lot of support. And, and when you've got one of the best football players in the entire section, you know, I think, I think that, Drobnik. Yeah, I think the field tilts in your favor. I'm going to go with the Lions. Okay. Ron? Uh, Jim Drobnik's one of the most prolific players we've had in, in, in our area this year. I like Big Valley Christian uh, with the home field advantage uh, Friday night. Sure. I agree. I'm, by the look on that face over there, I'm going Big Valley Christian as well. And then the other game in Division 7, number 4, Gustine at top seed of Denaire. Denaire, the, the overwhelming favorite to get it done in this division. Uh, Hunter Musgrave ran, ran wild in the first in the first matchup. I think he and Stephen Winston, there's just too many weapons in, in that wing offense that, that Denaire runs. Mm -hmm. they'll, they'll roll. Obviously. They'll be in the final. Mm -hmm. I like schools that suddenly emerge as, as new football powers, and Denaire is one of those schools. I'll take Denaire. So that's it for this week's predictions brought to you by Golden Bear Physical Therapy. At this time, however, I want to welcome in Big Valley Christian coach Brian Burkfeld. Coach, last year you were in the playoffs, and uh, you were talking about your team having a little bit of battle fatigue uh, at this point in the season. They just weren't used to being at this point. This year's different. How, how would you compare the psyches of last year's team and this year's? Uh, you know, last year we were we struggled because we were fatigued as a as a program. We had going into the playoffs, we had lost some guys, or we had guys that were sick, um, and we just didn't have quite the numbers. Uh, this year, though, the kids I think it has a lot to do with our offseason program. The kids have been work, lifting weights since November, mm -hmm. and so they have a lot invested into into what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And so I think for them, this is the payoff. And they're really excited about being here and uh, having the opportunity to play in, in a semifinal game. And you talk about kids and you talk about numbers. This year you have 20, 29, you're down to 28 now. You just lost one the other day. Uh, 28 players. That's a huge number for Big Valley Christian, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, we brought up eight players from the JV, uh, which gave us 29. And, um, but we're full strength of the kids that we yeah. plan on having yeah. on varsity. We, we uh, Gavin Boone, who was a starter for us on, on the offensive line last year, got hurt as a wrestler in the offseason. This is going to be his first game back. And um, uh, uh, McDonald, who we lost against Waterford, who dislocated his kneecap, he's cleared this week to play. So uh, Caleb Van Donsler, who's been hurt all season, he's cleared to play this week. So we just have a lot of guys that have been off and on or haven't been in the game uh, or playing for us for a while are back this week. And it's, it's really cool that this is the week that they're all back. And you, you speak of coming back this week. You were off last week, so you have a chance to get healthy. Yep. Uh, what's the guy's mindset being a number two seed and being, you know, favored to get it done and get to the section final? Well, I was counting on you guys to not pick us. <laughs> uh, to give us a little locker room stuff. But well, We can uh, always change our Yeah, picks. sure. But Cal Preps, didn't, you know, it doesn't have us winning. And uh, I think uh, some of the other guys didn't have us winning. So, you know... We, we don't mind being the dogs, but, you know, being the favorite is great, too. I think the kids earned it. Um, you know, they earned that bye week. They, they earned the, the number two seed because we had a really great uh, regular season. We went 9-1, and one and we, we really tried to up our uh, preseason pre schedule with mm -hmm. uh, playing some Southern League teams. And right. I think that really paid off for us. And so, I, in my mind, the kids really deserve what, what they have right now. Well, Coach, I appreciate you stopping Thank by you. and spending some time with us. Appreciate Good it. Good luck this week against Golden Sierra. Thank you. For Brian Burkfeld and James Burns and Ron Agostini, I'm Joe Cortez of FrontRowPreps.com. This has been our prediction show brought to you by Golden Bear Physical Therapy. Thanks for stopping by.